always a good time when the FedEx guy comes because that means new leather, new things to build, new customers to make happy, and just good time for me. So today I got some new leather from Acadia. I pretty much get all of my leather from Acadia because they're good people. You should check them out if you haven't used them already. Acadia leather. They're based out of Maine. Yes! Well, today I'm going to be working on a new tote bag. Uh, I've got a customer out in Halifax, Canada. <laughs> uh, most of my customers are from America, I don't know why. But uh, yeah, it's all good. I'm stoked to try this new leather out um, and we'll see what happens. I got a boo-boo there, um, it happens, you know? You got sharp knives all over the place. Um, so, it's always handy to, to carry some of these guys around, so. <laughs> Doll knife is a dangerous knife, so. Be safe out there, kids. quick mail session dude I love getting mail that's one of the things that I just love about this job is when you open up your mailbox and you've got something in there for you man it's good stuff so let's see what we got today so first thing this is just Amazon these are just my my journals that I get and they are awesome moleskin journals um, they're five by eight and a quarter. I love these things. Uh, I just started making leather journals to hold these things. And uh, let me tell you, they're really popular. They're good stuff, good stuff. This is from OA Leather Supply. This is Oaksen Authentic. Um, Ian is a good guy. Uh, he's from Canada and uh, it's cool. He's from Saskatchewan, way far west from where I'm at, but let's see what I got today. All right, my trusty indispensable knife. Ooh. Sweet. I got these one inch brass little clip key hook things. Boom, so nice. Brass, very, very solid. I had other cheap ones, but these ones do not compare. These are so nice. He also sent me some leather. I'm excited, he sent me some Sapisi leather. Enjoy this leather. From Ian. Thanks, Ian, man. I appreciate that so much. Go check out OA Leather Leather Supply. Um, if you want to get anything online, it's a place to get it. I think I know what this is. Dude, I support this guy so much. Um, he's awesome. If you haven't used Smith's Leather Balm and you're a crafter, or if you own boots or a bag, or something like that, that you have leather that is always getting dry, wet, dry, wet, and you need to put something on it, Smith's Leather Balm is the way to go. All right, let's open this baby up. Shane and Mandy, they make this stuff, they hand pour it, hand stir it. Shane always uh, makes fun of himself that he just stirs melted beeswax, but it's much more than that. It's a brand, and I love their branding. It's really, really cool. 
They've got really, really cool stuff that comes with their, uh, their packaging. Smith's All Natural, made in Maine, and it smells like cocoa. So pick it up. Wow. And I love their branding. So, so good. If you're not already following Ian from Oaks and Authentic or Shane and Mandy from Smith's Leather Balm, go follow them. Um, you will not be disappointed in what they got. So, yeah, back to the bag. Uh, they're all stitched up, punched out. Now I just gotta make the main body of the bag and I also have to make the pockets. So my battery's getting really low so I might have to skip some of this stuff. I only have one battery. I should probably pick up another one but hopefully I'll get the rest of it on film but maybe not. to finish some of the bag um, without filming it but so what I did is I just attached the inner pocket with some rivets and some little leather washers that I punched out earlier and now I am going to attach the second strap with some rivets and some more leather washers and also just a little keychain holder make it easier so that you don't lose your keys in the bottom of your bag so hopefully it goes well. to do is I like to do a double stitch down anything that is going to have a lot of stress on it so being the side of a bag I definitely want to have a double stitch there and I also put little copper rivets right at the top and that's where you're gonna have a lot of stress when you're opening the bag and just you know trying to get stuff in the bag it's gonna open at the corners here so you want to make sure that it's really secure finished all stitched up the only thing is it's inside out so now comes the tricky part the part where it all boils down to and that is turning the bag inside out so fingers crossed here we go That wasn't as bad as some bags that I do actually. Some bags are really, really difficult to turn inside out, but we got this one. A nice simple tote bag for a customer all the way out in Halifax, Canada. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah, so now all that's left is just to photograph the bag and send it to the customer. And uh, I'm gonna take a couple shots of it just now for the vlog. So enjoy your time, enjoy your day, and uh, keep making. Mm -hmm.